Hey all, welcome on Travels and Code channel. Today let's talk about uh, how can we save our time with such things like git pre-push. So we have our application and uh, we want to push it to server. After that uh, there will be run the continuous integration steps and after that somebody should uh, review our code. But what's wrong here? Uh, let's imagine that uh, we will try to run our unit test. We will call command yarn test. It's in our package JSON. Also, we just a bit change it because here we are using React create app and uh, tests run in another way. Here, what it was, it's default value, and uh, now we add just CI true. In this case, we turn off uh, watching test watch, and it runs with uh, some result. Right now, it's failed because it has some errors. It can be run. It's fine, but in this case, if you will push it to server, somebody should check it. And the question is, why do they have to check uh, wrong code with, which doesn't work? So how can we prevent it? Here in our application, we already have linting. How add linting to React application? I already showed in another video. You can find the link in description. Also, I have added the JavaScript to copy pass detector. How can we edit this also video? You can find it in description. So let's talk about uh, prepush. What is git prepush? Git prepush is a hook we can uh, call before we try to push or commit something to git. This way to use it right now is uh, Husky. Husky is a plugin we can use to run different uh, hooks and configure it uh, by ourselves in packages on or in uh, another file called Husky source. So let's do what is mentioned here. First of all, we need to install it. Copy that and um, here I'm using yarn, so it will be another command. Yarn add husky. Okay, so a couple, uh, couple of seconds and uh, everything is installed. We can check in our dependency. Husky is installed. So let's configure it. Let's create a file. Okay. But before we configure it, let me show how it works inside under the hood. So we have our application. So it's the same build, node models, public source, yarn, packages, on. And let's go to git and check uh, hooks, what, what hooks are and how can we check it. Let's go to git folder. Git folder is hidden, that's why we don't see it here, but it exists because we are using git. And uh, check what we have here. We have hooks folder, let's go to hooks. So here we can see something like pre-push, pre-commit, pre pre-rebase sample. Let's just open and see what is, what's inside. Okay, nano pre-push sample, let's open. And here is some code we can use. It's just a bash script, you can see it here. So you can write everything what you want by your own. Okay, let's close it and do it what mentioned here. We will create, uh, I would recommend you to create separate file with configuration for Husky, just to check if everything works. Let's push our code with broken tests. Some sample, doesn't matter. Commit and push. So as we see, everything was pushed, uh, even with broken unit tests. Uh, okay, but now we have to fix it. So let's create new file. Yes. And uh, add such configuration. It's for pre-commit, but uh, uh, I don't like uh, add such hooks because pre-commit, uh, why? Because sometimes we can commit a lot of files, we need to save it, who knows what can happen with computer, we need to commit it. But uh, in this case it will take a lot of time. But push, it's not so often common, so we will change it to push, we will change it to pre-push and, uh, and change command. Right now we have uh, tests, uh, okay. We add just the yarn test command, it's the same command we are using in the packages on or we call in our terminal. Let's try to push it again. Add some comment and let's try commit and push. What we see, it pushed anyway, but it shouldn't. So let's check why it was pushed. Checked why is first of all we had old version of git, we had 238, but according to documentation we need um, 
much higher. So I have updated Git and now we have, yep, we have updated version of Git. Also, here we have a note that for Yarn version 2 we have to use Husky Next. Okay, let's add it. Okay, let's Yarn add Husky Next. Okay, it was success. Let's check warnings, errors. It seems everything is fine. So I added pre-commit just to check, test it, but we can remove it. So let's check our code in hooks. Was something changed? Oh yeah. So now we can see that uh, now we can see that are a lot of additional files. For example, pre-commit, pre-push. Let's check our pre-push. And here we see that. Husky and uh, a lot of changes generated but by Husky. Okay, let's try to push our code with uh, unit test which are failing and uh, let's change at least something. I don't know, here it will be fine. It doesn't matter what we changed and uh, let's try to add Husky. Let's break commit. And let's try push. Okay, let's try push. Right now it takes uh, much more time because it runs unit tests. And we see that push is failed because some information from our unit test and it's what we needed. We can double check it by changing Kiaran test on Yarn lint, for example and right, try to push the game. And let's try to push. And everything is fine because linting uh, is successful. Okay, so how can we add a few comments? For example, we need to run linting, we need to run um, JavaScript to copy public text and run unit tests. So we can do it easily by adding a conditional comment with uh, in such a way. Yarn JSCPD, in this case we will check uh, copy post and, uh, and yarn test. In this case, first will be run linting, it's the fastest. First will be run linting, it takes uh, not so much time. Then will be just CPD and the last one will be yarn test. I prefer this way because uh, testing to take some time and uh, if something fails on these steps, we can uh, do not wait for test. Okay, let's try to push it. Commit and push. Right now it runs linting, then it runs uh, JavaScript copy path detector, and then it tries to run unit test. And if everything will be fine, it will push. But now we can see that it's wrong. Okay. But what uh, what can we do in case that we need push it anyway even if something is failing? So in this case we can uh, push with the flag no verify. If we can try to push here. I have outdated version of uh, WebStorm, that's why we haven't such flag here. Checkbox, but we can do it by our in our terminal. Let's try to Call git push with flag no verify. In this case, it won't run any hooks and just create a push. So we can see that everything was successfully pushed. And that's it. Thank you for watching.